Well, hello everyone. The Ontario Gardener here, back with another played up automation tutorial. And today we're going to be talking about strawberry cake. And this is another mod off of the cakes mod that's on the Steam Workshop. This here is a little bit different. All the cakes, there's vanilla cake, chocolate cake, strawberry cake, cheese cake. They're all different, a bit different. Uh, the three, the strawberry cake and vanilla cake, the basic cake making is the same. Chocolate cake, you have the cocoa, and then cheesecake is totally different than this whole, it's a totally different setup. So make sure you check out those other videos when they get posted as well, because they're all slightly different, but this concept is, is the same. Now, the way the strawberries work is you have your basic cake. You have your egg being chopped. You're being combining that with the sugar. That's then going on to this, um, going on to this conveyor mixer which is going to be mixing it once the flour will join the bunch that'll mix it again it'll go to the safety hub which it'll cook go to the combiner the combiner will combine it with you have to have two setups here you need to have chopped strawberries which will be here um if otherwise if you use chopped here this will turn it into sauce and that's what you don't want that and this one here this one here is is the conveyor mixer pointing to a jiggle bin with a or sorry this one here has the the smart grabber with the chopped this one is the regular one this one will pull the sauce the sauce will combine with the chopped it'll form a well the, the sauce chopped sauce i guess that'll combine with your cake layers one and two layers it'll then you need the mixer here because the mixer will actually do the cutting action to cut the cake and then you use the portioner going into the prep station these here are obviously um, optional but highly recommended because again you don't want to just be taking one slice at a time so this is a bit of a bigger setup using it this way this is kind of a if you don't count this you're talking six by five because you can't really put this anywhere you can't make this any smaller um with having the same kind of footprint just because of the way that the combiners work again each each tile only can have four inputs or outputs so this one basically is four now so you can't really rearrange this that much different to make this smaller um the only thing you really would be gaining would be getting rid of one of these conveyor belts but even then it's not really it's, this is a perfectly fine setup so the issue with this i'm gonna get i'm gonna fire it up for you guys the issue with this is the safety hop and let's just wait for the, this to mix so you're making the egg combine it with the sugar mixing it once you say wow maybe you should have two mixers because what's just going to happen here, I'll stand out of the way. This with my mouth, this is going to mix once and then combine the flour and mix again. And they say, well, why don't you have it going into two different mixers? Well, you don't need that because the hobs are so, let's get the mess out of the way. The hobs are so slow. Like it's literal like 20 seconds. And up here where you see the, the sauce and stuff up here, this will continue to run. The sauce will back up. It'll combine with the chopped strawberries, which will form this CSS, I guess, chopped strawberry sauce. And then this will never break one layer and then we have to wait for the second layer which takes forever so i'm not even gonna let that finish for you guys it takes too long now my recommendation is is this is the foolproof way nothing will ever jam up nothing will ever break nothing will ever start on fire nothing will ever happen it'll continue to run for the length of your entire run but if you want things to be a bit faster you add a danger hob and then you add a jiggle bin and the thing is you don't want to add the jiggle bin or this conveyor you don't want to add it off of the hob because you don't want this to be pulling off the hob all the time because as you're going to notice let's just fire it up and i'll explain to you the way that this works is that the time it takes for the danger hob to cook a cake to cycle around to here this bin will be empty so that's why this will never back up ever it'll just continue to run and we're going to watch it but the way combiners work which is kind of an ingenious way combiners will always take priority over a grabber so this will combine onto here if it can combine, which obviously it can here. There'll be no, once this gets backed up, watch, it's gonna combine. Once this gets fully saturated with, with two different sauces here, this will never back, this will never, well, it will never break, put it that way. And then what's gonna happen is you're gonna get the second layer, and then we're gonna follow it down to here. You have to cut it, and then it's gonna portion it six slices, four, five, six, and then the last one will sit here. Now watch what happens. This will cycle around, and this will go into here and as you can just watch here the time it takes for this where my danger hub is by the time it takes this to cook just watch what happens here by the time this cycles around well actually it's not going to cycle now but it would cycle here and it would be finished so case in point this will never break this will continue to cycle and cycle just like the sauce will cycle 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 indefinitely it will never break it'll never catch on fire it'll never jam up um it's just impossible to do so 
And there you go, guys. I mean, you could replace this with a frozen prep station to have it ready to go in the beginning of the day, but I mean, it's not a big deal. But since these are mains, and if this is your only main, you're gonna be needing a lot of cake. So I suggest using the danger. I always get to clean the messes in my tutorials. You know that, guys. Keep it clean. I would always recommend using the danger hob with this little jiggle bin set up here. Um, alternatively, you could make you could make a rotator by putting another prep station out here and kind of having them cycle. But eventually, it will jam up and it'll break, especially towards the end of the day when you're on desserts or something. This will start on fire and it'll break. So this is a foolproof way, 100%, where it will not break ever. It'll never catch on fire. It'll run flawlessly. So let's get out of this so you guys can take another look at it and there you go so if you want to go the safe route and with a couple less appliances use the safety hob if you want to have it faster because safety hob is 0.75 speed a danger hob is 2x speed so it's significantly it's more than two and a half times roughly or whatever as fast as a safety hob and using the jiggle bin in that grabber setup at the combiner not before the combiner you want it to be at the combiner for the reasons why well i just showed you why don't if you do it the other way you're going to run into problems because this will keep pulling off of here and then you're going to have a bad time all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving me a like as well as a comment. What's your favorite type of cake? Do you like strawberry cake? Do you like vanilla cake? Chocolate cake? Funny cake? Velvet cake? Red velvet cake? All kinds of different cakes. Coffee cake? I love coffee cake. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video or any other automation tutorials that I have, hit that subscribe button. It would really help out the channel, and I'll catch you guys in the next automation tutorial. Take care now.